New at 10, a team of women at Marquette using their sport to empower others around the world and giving new meaning to the term strength training. Julia Fellow has the story. It may take me some time to work my way up to the Marquette powerlifting team, but they're going to be spreading their strength to women who live in El Salvador. It may be hard to believe Cameron Oaks could only bench the bar when she first started powerlifting. Here is the moment she blew them all away, benching 209 pounds in an international competition in Lithuania back in May. The sport landed her a scholarship at Marquette University. I don't think that I could go to Marquette without the scholarship that I received from my knowledge base from powerlifting. The freshman quickly realized not all women have the same opportunities when our coach Noelle Brigden showed her this picture of what women in El Salvador use to work out. I probably, I would never use it. It's not safe. El Salvador has one of the highest homicide rates in the world. Brickton travels just outside San Salvador to help women plagued with domestic violence learn they are strong inside and out. We taught them powerlifting as a way of revaluing the female body as a source of strength and not just beauty. Brickton raised enough money to build a secure community center there. Now the powerlifting team is helping raise money to ship them gym equipment. So that they can like see good form and like make them signs and like rules for the gym. At least half a dozen women are dedicated to the program. Brickton hopes by the time she goes to visit next spring with new equipment, that number will skyrocket. And if you're wondering why the powerlifters arch their back like that, it's to bring more power to their chest. Reporting in Mequon, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.